Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to this next short little series on using the GCU dissertation template. I was attending the DC cohort last night. It happens every Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's a group of students, uh, recent graduates, people that are coming up on graduation soon, as well as uh, faculty and chairs that participate in this weekly session. And they uh, do presentations. They ask a lot of questions and they interact with one another. It's a fantastic group. I highly recommend attending if you can. Um, on the DC network, there is directions on how to join those sessions. If you look on the right-hand side, look for the DC cohort on Tuesdays. But one of the questions that came up yesterday was related to using the template. And I wanted to put together a couple of short videos to kind of talk through some of the things in the templates. And this works for both the qualitative and the quantitative template. Just to walk you through and get you familiar with it, it is set up in a way that hopefully will save you time. It's already basically APA formatted for you. Um, and if you follow the way that it's set up, it will get you through form and formatting. So the first thing I wanna talk about is styles. So if you go to the home tab on your ribbon up here at the top, you'll see this box that says styles and styles are already created for the template for different types of font or text that you might need. So for example, if I go down here to this, this should be normal font. Okay. It's already set up for the spacing, for the font type, the font size, um, the indentation, everything that you would need for a normal paragraph. If I come back up here to the title of the chapter, this should be, I believe, heading one. Okay, and you'll see right here, it's highlighted. This one here where it says introduction, this should be heading two, and it is. So the template is already styled for you. If you start writing in the template, don't mess with your headings because they are already formatted, okay? You can take out this text here. It's marked as normal. Oh, let me go back up. It's normal. So you can just start writing and your work will already be formatted the way it needs to be formatted for the dissertation, okay? Um, there's a couple of things that I do want to note. There's table text in here. Your, oops, and it's changing it for me on the screen. Your uh, research questions are listed here and you can see it's already reformatted that. Um, you've got all your headings. If you have a list, this is how it will format it for you. Um, if you have a numbered list, this is how it will format for you. Okay. Um, and I need to go back to normal. So I'm just going to click this and it'll put it back the way that we needed it. Okay. Now, one of the things that I love about styles, especially with your headers, is it provides you a way to quickly navigate through the template. And as you start writing more and more chapters, this becomes a bigger and bigger deal because it's hard to scroll through 270 pages. Okay. So I'm going to close the navigation pane and show you how to open it so that you can get in there. So if you go back up to the tabs on your ribbon and go to view, select that. And then right here where it says show, you're going to select navigation pane and it will pull this up. What's awesome about the navigation pane is if I'm writing uh, something in chapter one and I need to reference what I said about it in chapter three, maybe I'm, you know, talking about my population. I can go in the navigation pane, click this, and it will take me directly to that place. Here's what I wrote about it. Now I can go back to where I was in the introduction. Okay, so it helps you navigate between sections quickly, easily. Um, this comes in really handy if you are cutting and pasting your purpose statement because that needs to be the same all through the entire dissertation. And then when you get up to chapters four and five, your dissertation is just getting longer. One thing I do want to note is you see these little triangles. If you click on that, it will shrink the list so you don't have to look at everything. Maybe you're just working on chapter four and you don't want to see everything else. You just want to navigate around through there. 
it will do the same thing in your dissertation, okay? So if I hit this arrow in the dissertation, chapter one disappears, and if I scroll down, there's chapter two. What you need to be careful of is when it is minimized like this, if I get rid of this heading, the whole chapter is gone, okay? If it's minimized like this, but you can maximize it again and everything is there. So just bear in mind um, that, you know, if you hit this, you could kind of mess some things up. The other reason why this is styled this way is because your table of contents is automatically already mapped to update based on those styles. Okay. And you can see there's like a little thing up here. There's a box around it. When you are writing and you're updating your headers, especially here when you're writing your review of literature and you're adding your subheadings with your variables, when you come in to your table of contents, you hit update table and you would want to select update entire table and hit OK. And what it's going to do, you can see it's working. It's going to go through, it's going to update anything that you change in the headers. It's going to change the page numbers and you should not have to touch this at all. You shouldn't have to type in here. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to the introduction here and I'm just going to type uh, test. Okay. I'm going to check to make sure I think that's still styled correctly. Let's just look up at the top. Yep. It's still heading to. So if I go back to my table of contents, which does not show up in navigation, which is interesting. Okay, if I go all the way back up and I hit update the table, I'm going to update everything. Look what it does for us right here. See that? It automatically did it for me. I didn't need to type anything. Okay, now I'm going to go, you can see on navigation over here on the left, it did the same thing. It added test. I'm going to go back and take it out because I do not want that in the template. And voila, I just need to go back and update the, the table of contents. Okay. So that's why when we talk about the headers and we talk about styles, that's why it's so important to pay attention to what you're doing in the template because it is going to affect your table of contents, which the work has already been done for you. Um, so just be careful and be cautious, but hopefully this will help you as you're working through your dissertation and trying to figure out the formatting piece of it.